In our next problem, we're going to use Venn diagrams in order to prove a distributive law. Use the Venn diagram shown to determine whether the following statement is a theorem. A complement intersected with the union of B and C equals A complement intersected with B union A complement intersected with C. We want to show our work clearly as we develop the regions represented by each side of the statement. Well, here's the Venn diagram we're going to use. We notice that we have the regions designated as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we have our three sets, A, B, and C. We're going to begin with the left-hand side of the statement, and we want to figure out what B union C would be indicated by. Well, B union C would be the regions indicated by elements in B, which would include 2, 3, 5, and 6, combined with elements in C, which would be contained in regions 4, 5, 6, and 7. So what we can do is list B union C, and we're going to do so by just listing the regions that we noticed. Remember that we said we had regions 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now we're going to look at A complement. A complement would be any region that's not enclosed in the circle A. That would have regions 3, 6, 7, and 8. So let's list that. A complement will contain the regions 3, 6, 7, and 8. We're now looking for the intersection of those regions. So A complement intersected with B union C will give us the regions that appear in both. Notice that in A complement, we have region 3 and also in B, in B union C, so we'll list it as part of this intersection. We um, have region 6 in both. We have region 7 in both. Now let's turn our attention to the right-hand side of this equation. We're going to begin inside the first set of parentheses. We have A prime intersected with B. Well, notice we already have A prime listed here. So really, we just need to think about what region B, what regions are enclosed in B. Those will be regions 2, 3, 5, and 6. Now we want A complement intersected with B. We're looking for regions that are included in both lists. We notice region 3 and we notice region 6. Now let's move on to the second set of parentheses. We have A complement intersected with C. Again, we already have A complement listed. Let's now list the regions that are enclosed in our circle for set C. We have 4, 5, 6, and 7. 4, 5, 6, and 7. So now, what we're going to be looking for would be A complement intersected with C. We'll be, we'll be comparing these two lists. We notice that we don't have 3 in our second list. We do have region 6 included in both. We do have region 7 included in both. Now, remember, we're looking for the union. We're looking for the union of this and this. So let's take A complement intersected with B, union A complement intersected with C. We take the union of the two designated regions. We're going to have 3, 6, and 7. Now we're trying to compare what we came up with for our left hand side with what we came up with for our right hand side. And we can see that we have regions 3, 6, and 7 in both. And for that reason, we can show that these, this statement is a theorem.